أهلا أهلا وسهلا يا شباب um, Welcome to part 23 In the last video we just did the um, necessary um, helper classes to run the tests These are these three ones, one, two, three And now we can actually start writing some tests And without further ado, let's start Yalla Okay, we have our base repository test So first of all, let us inherit from it base support restore test so good next thing we need some constants as you might remember we have these resources and we have to somehow link to it so because that here the test folder has full access to the resources we just have to provide the names and for that let's just create some constants um, but let me just copy paste them quickly. Uh, so I have it here. Okay. Now we have them. Um, as you can see, um, here just have constants for the name of the JSON files, of the JSON files, not, of, not JSON, JSON. As you can see here, these match exactly with those here. Uh, yeah. Okay, we have it. And we just have one more constant for internal server, server error. And as you might know, an internal server is a 500 error. So that's why just 500. Let's continue with the other fields. It's a private. Uh, now JSON because we need to make this JSON files to Kotlin classes and the JSON library will help us. JSON builder, just say dot create. Good. Now we need an exception to throw an exception. Then um, just uh, So let's instantiate it. Let's pass a value in here, a message, um, error triggered or so. Okay. Next, we need um, to test um, the post, the, the create endpoint, the post endpoint, and the patch for update. We need again our models task create request and task um, update request. Let's just create some constants in here, uh, some fields in here. So private uh, create request task create request. Now we have it, it's nice. Okay, let's start giving some description. Let's say, um, yeah. My favorite topic by Hummus uh, is reminder sets. Is true. So next one is is task open. Okay, let's set it true as well. And let's give it a priority. Priority to medium. Okay, create request is created. Uh, now let's a new field update request task update request description. Uh, let's say try new try new um yeah shawarma place try new shawarma place uh, okay is reminder set we can say to false is task open we can say now and from the priority we can say let's give it a priority say low 
Next field, let's go to the next field. Private, late, in it, the task API of ta type task API. Okay. And now we have our object under test. This is our repository we are testing. So private late in it var object under test. This is the actual instance we are testing now for the um, repository implementation. Just the task repository. And now for this tutorial, uh, we also need for marking some things for the exceptions. Um, we need a um, mock task API and a mock, yeah, mock task API. We need that to mock an exception. Uh, so let's say mock task API. And we will use mock K for this. OK. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, implemented. Okay, and here we have to provide the type, the task API, of course. And here we say, yeah, we can say task repository. I mean, let's call it mock task repository because it gets a, it gets a mocked instance. Uh, uh, mock repository Tory is equals to task repository implementation and here we can pass as you can see we need a task API say give it just a mock task API okay it's good so next thing we need the setup method to override setup where it comes from, let's go to super. As you can see, it's from our base repository test where we um, inherit from. So, but we need some things here. We need an actual, actual instance of task API, the actual uh, under quotes is equal to, and this will, I will just copy it out from where we already have it. No, sorry. Ah, networking, it was silly me. Uh, again, for, for wrong directory. Uh, we need all of this, all of this, but we will tweak it a little bit. Uh, that, 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 that. Uh, no, we don't need, uh, luckily we don't need the client. And here the most important thing, the base URL. We don't give it the actual URL, of course, because we are not doing actual HTTP requests or, yeah, um, fetching some data. We have a mock web server, mock web server. It comes from base repository. And this mock web server has a URL for us. And normally, you would, I mean, we don't care about the URL. We just type in a slash and that's it. Okay, okay. Okay, at convert a factory, scale like that. Okay, oh, this will be needed for the list. This is so we can fetch a list, and otherwise, that's good. Okay, but we need one more thing. We have the object on the test, it's not initialized yet. We will initialize it now. Task repository implementation, and guess with what kind of instance it gets this object task api okay 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 now we have done the a little bit more of setup things and i think we can now start with the actual testing um yeah i just hope it's not too much right now um i would su suggest i will just uh, just clear this not used things 
Um, so this is basically the setup structure now for our task proposal implementation test. But I think I will um, do the actual testing in the next video uh, because this video is already also getting more than 10 minutes, uh, a length of 10 minutes. And the next the testing I want to explain properly. So see you in the next video. And Ilalikaya Shabab.